What is going on, guys? Davion Triple Sevens Barbell Club here with a quick uh, recap of my first complete week of Evolve AI. Uh, so my first full movement uh, that I have here is going to be my uh, safety bar squats. Um, I've been doing these for I would say maybe a year or so now since I picked up uh, the safety bar during the last AI program, and I thought this has helped uh, my kind of upper back um, as well as my quad strength a lot. So I do think this is a probably a, a pretty good bar uh, to get um, if you're looking into getting into um, some specialty bars. Um, my first movement was going to be a uh, 270 at a uh, eight reps at RP7, and I believe my second set I dropped down to 250. I think that's what the app prescribed after I put in um, that RP for my initial set. Um, another big call out here is going to be the amount of exercise I was able to complete. Unfortunately, due to some craziness in my life, I really wasn't able to uh, complete every single workout completely this week, but I always make it a point to uh, at least come in and, and kind of get those main movements done. Um, so um, after the safety bar squat, um, I was able to go in and knock out some overhead pressing. Used to do a lot more overhead pressing uh, back on the day when I was doing things like Windler. Haven't been doing that as much now, um, but uh, definitely want to get back into that a little bit more. Hopping right into day two, uh, my first uh, movement here is going to be a reach out pause bench press. Uh, this is something that I don't have that much experience with. Um, however, I've you know, seen a lot of great things about it, and I do think it's probably going to kind of help kind of my tightness um, all the way down from there uh, as well. Uh, from there, um, kind of hopping into the accessory type movements, so I'm going to be a one arm lat pull down. I don't recall uh, which YouTube channel I saw it on, but there was someone who was kind of preaching um, if you're not feeling kind of your contractions when you're doing lat pull downs, maybe switch to that one arm lat pull down. And I do think I, I, I get a much better uh, kind of contraction in that, uh, that quote unquote uh, mind muscle connection um, when I'm kind of doing these uh, single arm variants. Well. So if you have any issues, maybe feeling your back, um, I would definitely suggest looking at this. Some one arm lap pull downs, and the app actually suggests this uh, pretty heavily as well. So, you're most likely doing it. Hopping into the accessories um, of the day, and I think this is something I'm still really working on, is really properly gauging um, the RPE or the reps and reserve for these accessory lifts. I think I'm getting a lot more comfortable doing that um, with my primary movements, however, kind of gauging the proper reps and reserves on things like dumbbell military press or tricep pull downs or even uh, the hammer curl that I'll be doing later on in this clip. It's a little bit hard, uh, but I think I'm starting to get better at it as well. This cable attachment for my rack has been a fantastic buy. I would say anybody who works out at home, um, getting some sort of cable attachment you know, for your rack or some sort of dead center cable tower, it really opens up some of those things that you may have missed kind of uh, at the gym. So uh, highly recommend it if you're able to uh, get one. And then we're going to hop right into day three. Uh, the first call out is going to be this um, kind of horrendous video setup. I kind of changed my garage gym layout, and I didn't really set aside enough space uh, for my deadlift. Area, so I will be kind of readjusting these. And the second call out is this horrific pause below the knee. Um, you know, this is the type of thing when you're doing it. Because I feel like in these videos do, definitely do not make it look pretty. But um, my upper back was definitely fried. Uh, for this, so... I feel as if it's working, so we're just going to keep on hammering these so that we uh, kind of get this uh, um, form a, a little bit cleaner because uh, these do not look very good. And I think the last thing that I actually completed that day um, was just a simple set of 275 uh, for comp squats. Uh, nothing too crazy, pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, but, you know, making sure to get that uh, the volume in um, on those other things as well. And then hopping right into day four, uh, the first thing here, these are going to be feet up bench press. You can't see my feet up, but, uh, you know, uh, have kind of the straight feet out. Uh, this was pretty, uh, pretty smooth, pretty good. Nothing of a uh, note. Um, after this, um, we did have some bent over rolls, but the main call I want to have here is like front squats. I have not been doing front squats for a while. Since I got the safety bar squat, I've pretty much abandoned all front squatting, um, but the app kind of served up that third squat movement, so I'm doing it. Um, now, in this specific clip here, um, the bar does roll. Um, I don't think it was a weight thing. The weight didn't feel heavy, but my rack and upper back got kind of uh, 
a little bit loose and I lost the bar. Um, I did go ahead and complete the others. Um, Ooh, yes, sir. However, I forgot to uh, turn the recording back on as well. So, um, you know, definitely hard, uh, but you know, that's what we do this for. So I'm going to keep on kind of plugging away and try to get a little more and more comfortable uh, with these front squats, maybe get some scraps to help my front back position. Um, but it is really a little bit tough. And after this, we're going to hop right into uh, day number five uh, with Spoto Press. These as well kind of really tore up um, those front delts um, as well, but it um, wasn't too bad. Um, but I, I, I do like the way that these feel. These are very different. I haven't really done these for a consistent time in the past as well. So I'm pretty excited to see what these are going to be able to do. And my last couple of the moves of the day, um, we did some pull downs, um, some dumbbell shrugs some overhead cable extensions done by curl so i will let this play out um but also guys i want to thank uh, everybody for kind of views and support um, on the previous video if you guys have any specific questions about this app and how it maybe compares to the other app um juggernaut ai app i will probably be doing a comparison in the future so I get a little more time uh, with this uh, but i would say so far for this first couple weeks uh very very uh, minor differences uh between the two apps um so you know if you're using one already i wouldn't really uh, you know, um, rack my brain too much over which one is the right one. Um, most of this has to do with making sure that, you know, you're putting the work in and you're properly rating your RPEs and your I RIRs uh, to make sure that the app is able to kind of serve you up the proper um, amount of uh, volume as well, guys. But uh, thank you guys so much uh, for your support. Um, have a fantastic day and uh, keep lifting.